Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And tonight we're working on the birds and flowers um, picture that I got the other day. Um, I have gotten... Let me see if I can bring you down in. Whoops, a little far. My bad. Let's see. Okay. There we go. I got... These flowers done. I got this thing in the, I don't know what it is, part of the flowers, the leaves, or whatever. And right now, I'm working on these right here. And I did take all my threads, whoops, sorry, and put them into the, the little snack bags so that they wouldn't get dirty. I think I got maybe two more that have to be done like that, except for the ones that I'm not actually physically working on. Oh, these scissors. There we go. Hang on just a second, guys. Had to get my good scissors. My good scissors. I like them. They're a little heavy, but, but they're okay. And we're going to do this. Oh, it looks like an olive green. Like a medium to a dark olive green. So how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good week. It's finally my day off tomorrow. Yay! I can hardly wait. Yay! Today was kind of a never-ending nightmare, as usual. It, it's like we just don't have good days anymore. I've given up on good days. Good day was be peace and quiet and you get all your work done and Oh, I guess there'd be no reason for me to be there, right? Whatever. But, oh well. Okay, let's see here. Hang on, guys. I've got to get you off the edge there. But, uh, I worked on this a little bit last night and the night before, so I thought we'd just continue working on this. And I did look up the color. Uh, actually, it says on this one, so I thought I'd go with that since it already said the the color number. But uh, oh, them little bugs! I have little Millers. I have little what do you call moths? And oh my God, what's the difference between a Miller and a moth? Huh? Does anybody have a clue? Okay, we're gonna back you up just a bit. Whoa, maybe. There we go. I can have it. Silly thing. Whoops. Am I making you dizzy yet? Well, it'd probably help if I didn't have that paper clip on that edge and it wouldn't. Hang on, got another one on the other side. We're going to get this yet, guys. This is what happens on my Fridays. Telling you. But, uh, there we go. <laughs> but I'm glad that this work week is over and we can go on to another one and we're getting that much closer to summer being over with. Because I sure will be happy when it is. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. These have such pretty colors and the threads are very nice. I was just on Amazon and I ordered some more diamond paintings and some more stitch product projects. I didn't get anything too horribly big, so we'll see. Some will be here uh, Monday and some it's going to take a while as usual. I can never time that just right, but uh, I've been sitting here thinking in my brain about getting that uh, Diamond Art Club one, um, Hope Runs Deep. I like that one, I think, the best of all the new, new ones, but uh, yeah, it's kind of on a par with uh, On Golden Shores. I don't know that it is or it isn't by the same guy. I believe it is Chuck Pinson. If that's how you say his name. If not, I'm so sorry. I um, 
screwed up your name there. But I know his name is Chuck. And he does beautiful, beautiful work. You know, it, it kind of makes you wonder what the painting looks like in real life. Not not the diamond painting, but the actual painting. You know, and I can't even imagine in my wildest nightmares what it would be like to uh, do the the hand charting and all that. Because that would just drive me over the edge. I did get uh, some more um, containers today. Like, oh dear, do I have one nearby? Nearby, nearby. The ones that are like this, and they come like seven, not seven, maybe. maybe I think it maybe it's seven. Yeah, four times seven. There's twenty eight of in there. Cause guess what? I ran out again. So I know if I just complete something. Hey, the geisha woman with the the, the parasol, she's getting close. So maybe this weekend we'll have her done and haven't gotten anything else new in or else y'all would be seeing an unboxing but because I like to unbox them for you and and everything but I didn't think that they warranted being unboxed um, I buy them from Dominaire at uh, Amazon I think they were like $13 between 13 and $20 and I get five of them came packaged like this and then they're inside and that's the best deal that I have found oh, come on seriously boy they package them puppies up pretty darn good oops I'm cutting the other plastic hang in there we're getting there but they all come oops right damn it they all come individually wrapped and there are five of them, so that'll really work. <coughs> and I like them because if you drop them, they don't open up. They don't. They got a lock on the side, and then each one is comes out individually. Well, you saw that, and uh, they snap down pretty good. I've only had a couple that uh, didn't want to snap. You know, out of the whole time I've been diamond painting since like maybe. October of last year that, you know, had one or two uh, like that. Oh, and they also come with them. Uh, let me show you here. I'll bring it back. Got to show you the whole thing. Comes with a whole bunch of stickers if you'd like to use stickers. And there are two whole pages. Let's see. It looks like maybe a hundred of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. So there's over 88, so I'd say close to 100 and something of the stickers. But you know me, I don't use the stickers. I just write on there with magic marker, and then when I'm done, I use hand sanitizer to uh, clean it off and go again. And that way I don't have to pull off any tags and melt any tags to get them off and mess with I am not a messing girl. We're not messing around. When I'm ready to diamond paint, I am ready to diamond paint. I worked a little bit um, on the Geisha woman, trying to get her done. And I haven't worked on, uh, what is it? Oh, God. Sea Medley or the, um, what is the one? Oh, I just said it. I mean, it just rolled right off my tongue. On Golden Shores. I like that one. I really do. I haven't gotten too much more done on that, so... I've been stitching and and doing other things, so watching TV and just kind of vegging and not let my brain hurt and just let everything come down to normal. Thank God I don't have high blood pressure. I don't know how come I miss the high blood pressure and all the ulcers from all the cooking crap I've been through in the past 35 or 40 years. Just done. It's a pretty color. I love that color. It's like turquoise. Mm. Anxious to see what the next color is. 
Let's see, do I have it out? Oh, it's a lighter. I pulled like 25, 26, and 27 or 29 out. This is the one that's going to go where the, uh, the turquoise color is. Pull you in a little bit. Where the, it says 26, so that's that color. So they have some really pretty colors in this. And it keeps you interested, you know? You're not doing big blocks, and you just don't have to mess around. Because I, uh I don't know. I haven't worked on the, uh, what do you call it? The actual true counted cross stitch lately. It's just too much for my brain to think about right now. So I do what's easy because I figure I've just, I'm fried by the time I get home from thinking and reading, you know, what the orders are and trying to make everything right and, and all the, the prep work that I do, I just know. So I'll save it for one of my days off. Oh, come on, for pity's sake. But I just wanted to come on here and do a little quick stitch video. And don't know what I'm, I'm going to go have lunch with my uh, daughter and my two grandchildren uh, tomorrow. Probably go to Jan's. That's our, our favorite restaurant. It's a family style restaurant. And they have usually have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, which we like, you know, I mean, it's well rounded. So if you're ready for a hamburger or if you're ready for something, you know, bigger than that, or if you actually want breakfast, you can get breakfast. Um, so who knows what my two days will be like. I know I get to do laundry tomorrow. Isn't that exciting as hell? I'm telling you, I can hardly wait to get there. Oh, I so need to do laundry. I, I like going to the laundromat because you get it over with. You know, I run three loads and then I put it in the dryer. And 40 minutes later, I'm walking out of there and it's all done. So I don't miss having my own washer and dryer. Not at all. And besides, it would take a re-electrical wiring to get that all accomplished here but uh, so I just don't feel the need and it, it gets me out and I can go and do something and sit there for my 40 minutes and do my laundry and and come home you know and it's done and and do all the crap I get to do at home but uh yeah so and it's a nice, small little laundry mat, nice, clean, run by Christian people, you know. And um, so it, it's nice. It's not one of those great big, huge laundry mats that I used to go to in Cheyenne and in Denver. And I was like, oh my God. I mean, any given time, there were 20, 30 people in there. It's like, no, I don't like to do that. And then you got to stand there and watch your clothes the whole time. Yeah. No, I've never had anything go wrong here. And of course, now, you know, I mean, that was back in the day, and they didn't have, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, security cameras and and all that kind of jazz. So, now they've got that, so I think that's pretty much curbed a lot of the the stuff that goes on. In the big cities. and Other than that. I just get it done and come home. And every once in a while. I treat myself and do all the blankets. And, and all the bedding and crap. It's like oh my god. I usually do that in the winter. Or right before winter starts. And then right. After winter ends. Because. All the. And it's just me so. You know I, not getting much wear and tear on the bed there, but uh, it goes a lot easier that way. And then you got to flip the mattress, so I have to call my daughter over. Oh, yeah, it's great. Fun times, I'm telling you. Some of this mundane crap, it just puts you to sleep. But uh, it's life, guys. It's life. Oops. Oh, where are my good scissors? Man, them other ones, they're only good for paper. I've had them scissors. God, I bet you I've had them 15 years. If I've had them a day. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretties. I just want to finish this whole section. Then I'll start on this flower. 
and just kind of go from there but I'm gonna try to do a flower or yeah or flower ish or leaves or whatever it is section at a time as we go it's not going fast it's not going slow it's just it's just cross stitch so it is what it is what it is guys that's my saying for the week it's come in really handy so it helps me get through it and if it takes down my anxiety level, more power to it. Sometimes, and like I said, you know, sometimes I like to work on that count cross stitch. When I feel like I'm rested and can pay attention to how many of this or that I'm counting or whatever. But it's pretty. And it'll be beautiful when it's done, but... I don't know if it'd be too much to go around all these flowers and leaves with, like, say, black, you know, to outline them, or a dark green, say, for the leaves or whatever. I don't know how well that would work, because, I mean, it doesn't show that uh, this time in this particular pattern, I don't believe, because there's no extra lines here. Whoops, sorry, guys. I had to grab a hold of the darn thing. Um, I wanted to get them last three stitches out of there without dumping you over but you know what would be a session with Laura without dumping the entire camera on the ground or on my head yeah that's where it usually goes it hasn't flipped off the table yet so I count myself pretty dang lucky and this little tripod I swear I bought it back about the first of the year and I paid like oh, I'll say between 15 and 20 again because I don't know but I know it wasn't very much. And it's just the handiest little thing I've ever seen. Um, and it's real lightweight aluminum. That's why it keeps dumping on my head. So I, I've i never had a really good tripod. My father, when he was doing lots of photography, he had a really nice heavy duty. I don't know what it was made out of. But it was heavy. Uh, duty tripod. And it was meant, you know, to take outside and. And it would free stand by itself. Now this, if I was taking pictures outside, you'd really have to hang on to it in this wind here. Because that puppy would, in a minute, would flip over. But for what I'm using it for, I think it's great. And I'd buy it again. I got it from uh, Amazon. So. Alright, we got that part finished. I think what I'm going to do is tie this off here. And we're going to get that other color so we can see what it looks like. Well, if I could just loop a thread here. Ah, scissors. Whoops. Let's not cut the, the USB cable in half because then the light pad won't work. And oh man, I would be pissed. Don't think those scissors are quite that sharp. And that cord is pretty heavy duty. Okay, let's see that was number 25 I think or did I put this in the wrong place oh my goodness no I think that's lighter okay because I had it out you know I got the color out before I showed you this so. oh man I nothing worse than having to take stitches out you know it's one thing to take a few diamonds off oh my god taking stitches out drives me right out whoops I'll hide them scissors, I swear. Um, it just drives me crazy. I'm going to have to get me a seam ripper because that's the only thing that will get in there. Of course, these have pretty sharp little points, so I, I, I've used them a couple of times to do that when I've done the wrong thing. You know, I'm notorious for it. Just absolutely notorious for it. But... Uh, I want to see what this other color looks like. Now where, oh, what did I do with the needle? I know. Where's your needle minder? Do you think you could find it on this material? Oh my God. It'd have to be pretty big. Would have to be huge. I looked into uh, making some, uh, oh, I, they call them cover holders for diamond painting, you know, to hold back the that plastic paper. And I just can't go there, people. I just can't. I mean, I have a few things. I, I don't have 
much of that big kind of stuff, but there was certainly enough to buy. And I felt myself going right down that mixed media path again. And went, nope, can't do that. Oh yeah, it's much wider. So, I just kind of vetoed not to do that. But that's okay. We'll let everybody else do that. I just don't want to get into it. I don't want to get glue near my stitching projects. And Yeah, that would be the next thing. That's why I don't drag out the paint anymore. I'd love to jelly plate. But, uh... Because I could sit there all day with a ream of paper and just jelly plate away. I love jelly plating. And I don't know what I'm going to do with all that paper. I have no idea. But I have an entire box full of jelly plated stuff. I thought, you know, at one time I could uh, use some of my jelly plate prints um, to... Uh, they're not fantastic, mind you. They're just... They're, they are what they are. Um, to make uh, the paper beads... I love making paper beads. Don't know what I'm going to use them for either. I finally got the diamond glaze so that I can make them hard, but have we done that? No. We got into diamond painting, and here we are, folks, eight months later or whatever it was. Yeah. But uh, we certainly got enough art supplies if we want to do anything around here. And my grandkids love it, so we'll have them over and Everybody will get to have their day with Grandma to do artsy, craftsy stuff. I may video one, you know, just just for the sheer hell of it. I don't know. I told my grandson we'd have an art day, but I don't know how, how cool that'll be or what he'll want to do. Because he usually has an idea, you know. Sometimes I come up with the ideas and something simplified for them. Not too far over their head. He's come over and we did rock painting, you know, in Aborigine style. And when Grandma was doing dot paintings and dot paintings on rocks. And he liked that. And one time we did uh, close pin snowflakes with my granddaughter and my grandson. And my daughter, she helped. And everybody got to paint and use the glitter. So you, they get their glitter and their paint fix. My granddaughter, when she comes over, all she wants to do is drag out the paints because she wants to paint. And she does abstract art these days, you know. So, we have to let them be who they are without cramming crap down their throat. And I've learned that a long time ago. If they want to do it, they will let you know. And they will just bug the hell out of you until you get to do it, so. But, uh. We haven't done that this summer. Um, have the grandkids over and do a paint and glitter section. That's what I call it. Paint, glitter, and cut and paste. Oh, geez. And they like to use my uh, my stamps. Because I have a bunch of stamps and stamp pads. And so they, they're pretty well occupied at Grandma's house. But uh, I can't believe summer's like almost over for the kids. I don't remember what day my daughter said school started. I think she said it was like two weeks after my grandson's birthday and his birthday's on the 10th of August. So I think it's probably somewhere about the 20 something. So she's looking forward to it. I can tell you. But yeah, you can see all the, the different shades right there. Isn't that pretty? I just thought maybe we could outline them. I don't know. I'll have to think about it, you know. By the time I finish this stupid thing, I won't want to do another damn thing. So. But I think it'd be neat to do the black outlines on stuff. But uh, I might decide to do that as I go along. I don't know. I haven't really come up with a plan. But, uh. I think it'd make them all stand out and all the colors just pop with that black around everything, you know, just outline it all. But it could be a nightmare, too. Make this go about ten times slower, but I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes. I'll think about it. But, 
Can hardly wait for my fourth season to get here, but they're not probably going to be here until the middle of August sometime. Unfortunately. Fortunately, unfortunately. I just keep racking and stacking them. I think I got another five things coming beyond those. And there's four of them. I got them all from the same store. I forget. Oh, my God. I think it was Joy Sunday. It might not have been. I don't remember. I don't want to say because I don't want to say wrong. I just cannot remember. But they sure are pretty. And they're individual and you can do them through the seasons. And I don't think they're very big. I hope to God they're not very big because we have lots of big. Oh, yeah. And the other huge one is still coming. It's still stuck in San Francisco. I checked on it today. Whoops. Yay. So... We'll just have to wait and see. Let's get up here a little bit. You can hardly wait to get to the flowers. I always like to get to the flowers and stuff. But uh, this is this is doing it for me right now. So we'll just keep going, and I can watch TV and do this at the same time. You know, I just concentrate on one little section. Of what I'm doing. This thing is so long. It's kind of hard to hold in your lap. I know. But uh, I don't have any bigger stretcher bars. Or I'd have it on the stupid stretcher thing. Still haven't figured that out guys. I don't know. I don't know. Now that i got this new table. It's not very thick. I might be able to uh, attach my long arm. To it. And it not move. And then put like one of the the sewing things on the the scroll but this is way way too big it's almost 30 inches across Th I think it's beyond 30 inches across I don't have my tape measure right here but uh, yeah I don't know and then I'll just be frustrated so I, I don't know I, I'm just still on the fence about that stupid scroll thing I wished I'd kind of gotten a smaller one, but oh well, maybe later. Not right now. I thought about also getting a Q-snap, but that hasn't come to fruition. But, uh, and I don't pull my stitches real tight. Sometimes I have to tighten things up around here. I had that problem with the beaded thing, because I'm not a real tight sewer. All right. Come on. Come on. It's always the last one that has to give you a little fit. Well, we got another leaf done. How about that? All right. That well, looks pretty cool. Bring it in so you can see it. So we got that leaf done, this one, and this one over here. Whoops. Let me give you the whole picture. This one, this one, and this one, and then these lines. They're all done. So I have to finish that part and then start the flower. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, who subscribed. Appreciate that as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And do hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good evening. God bless. Bye-bye.